G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now hopefully you saw me make this holographic silicone insert. It's got a bit of fluff on it. Uh, if you haven't seen me make that, I will link it up in the top right corner for you so that you can watch how I made that. So today I'm going to use that and I'm going to make some holographic pendants. Now I've got these, um, oh actually, I bought some teardrop just on Amazon. Um, there's rounds, silver and gold. Uh, there's some um, hearts. It looks like silver, gold, and maybe bronze or antique gold. And some ovals in the silver, gold, and antique gold or bronze. Now, the problem with the oval ones, I've just got a couple out of each shape. The problem with the oval ones is the loops the opposite way. See that? See the loops facing me and that one's facing away so it means that that's not flat there so it, it, you'd have to hang it over something so I'm not going to use those today just for the sake of doing something easy so I'm going to use all of these so I've got a silver and a gold in the teardrop silver and a gold in the circle and silver and a gold in the hearts so that's what I'm going to use today and I also got this sticky tape it's called resin tape I don't know if it's any different to packing tape I have no idea but um, like normally I'd use packing tape but I saw it there when I was buying these um, open back bezel trays and it's suggested you know when you buy something and it has a suggestion of what else to buy it suggested this so I thought okay let's do that so I'm gonna put that down it's a little bit tricky because you've got to leave it sticky side up so <laughs> whenever you touch it it wants to come back come back and haunt you so let's make a few pieces and I'm going to overlap this if you wanted to you could just cut a little piece and stick one down but I'm going to do them as a whole piece so I'm just going to overlap that a little bit just so that they all move together, you know, rather than them all going all over the place. I just thought it would be easier if they just all stayed in one spot. All right, so that's the last piece. I'll stick that down, and they've each overlapped just a tiny bit. All right, so now what I can do is, now that I've got my sticky, um, now we get to put these down. So, let's just, I don't know where they're going to go, but I'll just pop them down. I don't think it'll matter. Let's just go all the golds on the top. This one is a slightly different shade of gold. It's a more, it's a more bright yellow. And that one. And that one, they kind of look like rings, don't they? Whoops, and then that one. You can lift them and move them if you so desire. Now, push them down really well. I'm going to use a little pop stick. Whoops. Gosh, I just headbutted the camera. I'm not used to it being right there. Oh, gosh, sorry. Just going to do this that way. Push them down nicely into the tape. There we go. Right, so now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to make up just a incy wincy little bit of black resin. And I'll be back and I'll tell you what I'm going to do. While I was stirring my resin, and I just did a little cup like this, it occurred to me that if I pick this up, and lay it over the top if I've got any little marks on my B 
bench here um, it's going to affect or transfer into my silicone and then also this being soft it's going to drop down into my tape and then I'm going to get like marks on the tape so what I thought about doing is just cutting a little piece off the top and I'm going to cut it where my little dent is and I'm going to trim around these as well so that when my silicone goes over the top um, it's just going to just cover those so that's that's what I'm going to do alrighty so I just need to make sure I'm getting enough about there um, that way I'm not ruining this piece because I'm just not sure what it's going to do you know because I've never done this before so let's cut here just gonna lay that down and I can see what I'm doing so you can you know once you've made your sheet of holographic silicone you can cut it to whatever size floats your boat all right, so then now I'll put that side away because I, it's big enough to, you know, cover one of these and that's also big enough to cover one of those if I want to do that later. So I'll just pop him out of the way. Right, so that's my, that's my piece that I'm going to use. Now, um, I'm just going to trim off a little bit of this. Probably didn't need all of that, did I? Oh, gosh. Easier said than done. But you don't know these things until you start. And you think, oh, I wonder if that'll work. And then you go, mm, I don't think it'll work because the silicone's going to stick to my tape. And then I'll probably have marks on it from the, from the sticky side, you know, from the glue of the tape. It might not, I, I don't know, but I'm not willing to take the chance. So I'll just trim this a little bit and I'll probably have to push it back down again. There we go. So still, still all together in one piece. Clean up my tape. And I'm just going to give this another press down. Okay, so um, I'm going to pop a little bit of black pigment paste in here I'll get my gloves back on so I it's the platinum 360 plus because it's just a thin resin um, so you want something that's going to you know degas easily uh, so I've only got 12 grams of A and 6 grams of B it was really hard to measure such a tiny little amount I was worried that I was going to go over and again, this is only a little tiny amount. I'm just going to use this Cast and Craft Black because I can just pop like a few drops in. Give it a shake though. I have found that um, like if you don't shake it, the first little spurt is just like a clear oil that comes out. So give it a good shake if you can. One, two, three. We'll go three drops. Now you could, if you wanted to, add something to the resin. Like you could add a little bit of um, uh, chameleon mica powder or holographic mica powder, something like that, to give it a bit of an extra shimmer. But just for the sake of today's experiment, I'm going to just leave it black. And I can pinch the end like that. So, let's just pour a little bit into each. Now, this is where we <laughs> panic a little bit and wonder if it's going to leak underneath, but hopefully it's all right. Hopefully it's been pushed down enough. Now, the other thing, if you're going to see the back of your pendants, be really careful not to touch the plastic because if you touch, not the plastic, the, um, the green tape, if you touch it, you'll most likely leave a fingerprint and then, of course, that will be transferred into the back of your black resin. So just be careful. That's why I use that pop stick to push them down, but I think probably got a couple of fingerprints on it as well, just from when I actually placed them. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just fill these up to the top, obviously. And then I'm going to wait. I, I think that if I had to try and put that silicone um, little inlay over the top of these, um, I think the really runny thin resin will just kind of ooze out the sides. So I'm going to fill them up um, almost, almost doming them right up to the top. And then once they have become a bit tacky, now that stage where you can touch it, but it doesn't stick to you, um, I'm going to then put the inlay over the top. And hopefully that way, hopefully the holographic will still transfer. Oops, I think you're full enough. Just go drop by drop. You don't want to overflow these. They don't hold very much. That's for sure. And just take it nice and slowly, drop by drop, when you're getting to the close to being full. And I just look across, I get down nice and low and look across the top and see whether or not they are full enough. Especially if you've got a window in your work area and you look sort of across the top into the, into the light, um, you'll be able to see if they are all full enough. So, yeah, all done. Last little drop. They look really pretty already, don't they? Just like that. This middle bottom one just needs one more little drop, and I think I'm pretty much out of resin now, too. So, let's clean up my gloves. Check them again. I think they're all good. I can probably get one tiny little drop left in that one. And a little drop in that one. Okay, that's good. All done. All right. Now I'm going to give them a quick little torch just to get some bubbles out. Really quick because I don't want to melt the, <laughs> the tape. Oh, that did well. Oh, it's Sort of worried that the tape was going to melt, but it did quite well. I mean, it's only a, I've only got my flame on low, like so. All right, so now um, I'm going to cover them, and maybe I'll come and check it in an hour and see what it looks like. Let's see if I can see if I can get down and show you. Mm. It's a bit tricky to see, isn't it, what the tops look like, but hopefully you can see they're nice and full. All right, uh, I'll come back to you when they are tacky and we'll pop that inlay over the top. Righto, guys, so it's been a couple of hours and I... Did a tiny, tiny little poke with the end of a toothpick and it made a little dent, but it didn't like leave a sticky trail. You know, when you lift it up, it didn't leave that sticky trail. It just made a little dent. And I don't want to touch it because, like I said, I don't want to leave fingerprints. So um, let's just do this, shall we? So I'm going to flip it over and <laughs> I think I'm going to just start in the middle there. And just kind of ease it down give it a bit of pressure as I push it down and I'm hoping that I haven't trapped air underneath so just to be sure I'm just going to give it a, a little press just lightly I guess we won't know until we unmold whether or not I've trapped any air under there Hoping not, but I can't tell. 
Don't know. I don't know. Can you guys tell? It's a bit hard, isn't it, to see? I don't know whether there's like a little bubble under there or whether I'm just imagining things. It's got fluff on it. So anyway, um, that's all I can do at the moment. I will have to wait until later on tonight and uh, we will unmold them. No, I can't see. <laughs> all right, wish me luck that it works. See you soon. Hey guys, it's the next day and um, we're ready. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, I've got some leakage. Oh gosh. I wonder if I can trim that up. Oh. <laughs> I did press my little silicone um, inlay down quite hard because I didn't want to get bubbles, but oh, anyway, look, it's the first time I've done this. So let's just, let's just try this, hey? Um, now let's do, actually, let's do the, let's take the tape off first. I'll try not to touch the silicone. Oh, look. Well, that's disappointing. I wonder if I can use that again. Oh, probably not. That's a bit disappointing. Overflow. I was so worried that I, <laughs> I was going to get bubbles. I pushed it on it too much. All right, never mind. Let's have a little look, shall we? Take one off. Actually, let's take them all off. No. It's all right. Let's... I wonder if I can trim that. I might be able to just trim the side, you know, with my little blade. All right, let's have a look. Oh, look at what! Can you guys see that? Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, there it is. Look at that. <laughs> it worked, it worked. Yay. Oh, just disappointing about that overflow. Maybe I should, oh, oh, look. Oh my gosh, it came off. Oh, okay. Now I've got to try not to touch the, um... oh, look, it's coming off, you guys. Oh, thank goodness for that. Oh, I was worried. I was so worried. Look, it just peels off. How bizarre. I didn't think it would. Oh, yay. Oh, that's made my day. Now, you know, I've never done this before. If you guys have got any suggestions on how I could <laughs> improve on my process, because, you know, it wasn't ideal, as you could see. I had a few little struggles. There we go. Look at that. Just like I bought one. I wish I could see what you're seeing. I can't really, I can't really reach my camera. It's up there. So anyway, there's that one. So I've got um, I've got a silver chain, um, and I thought I could put them on the silver bezels. And then because I don't have any black chains, um, I thought I could just use this. Um, I wonder if that'll fit. Probably won't even fit. I do have some um, just black leather. I didn't think of. Oh, actually, no, that that's right. I've got to put one of those, uh, you know, the jump rings. You've got to put a jump ring on, otherwise it'll sit crooked. So that's the back, no holographics, and then that's the front. Oh, I still got a bit of tidying up to do, but yeah, I need to put a jump ring on it. That's what I need to do. I, I have got some. I'll go and find them, and then I can thread that on. Oh my gosh, so exciting! All right, I'll try and I'll try and be a bit quicker with the others, you guys. Actually, you know what I'll do? Uh, you know what I'll do? I'll I'll take all the little edges off and then I'll come back to you and show you the finished result. So you're not waiting for me. Righto, I've popped a couple on those. So this is what I used. I've got this little kit, which has got lots of different sizes in. I, I don't think I'd ever use the um the teeny weeny ones. <laughs> But um, I, they've got numbers on them. That's a 12. Um, I used this one, the 8. 
So nice little storage box as well. So I just popped one on the silver one and then I've got these for the gold. Do you remember how I said to you the gold was in two different sort of shades? So this is the shiny gold there. So I've popped one on here because this one, it's a different, it's a different sort of shade of gold. So I haven't popped one on that yet, but I just wanted to show you. Right, now I'm going to get my gloves on and I've turned the lights off in the studio. I've got my overhead lights on, but I haven't got my, you know, ring lights and LEDs and things on. So, because I just think that the natural daylight shows the holographics better. Now this one, as you can see, it's got a little tiny mark on it. That's probably just like, a, I don't know, a speck of dust or something that I've had, you know, that, that got picked up and transferred. So, but you can see how gorgeous that is. It is just amazing when the light catches it. So pretty. Hope you can see that. But look, it's not, I don't think it's bad for my first attempt because I had no idea what I was doing. And we all start off, don't we? Practice makes perfect. So there's the, the gold and I've just put it on this black little faux leather necklace. So that's that one. And then this is the other one with the, the silver ball chain. Now I've just got to aim it towards my window. Might help if I had the right size. <laughs> the right side. Oh gosh. All right, there we go. <laughs> they both look the same when you're just looking at them. Oh, there we go. Um, I guess you could turn it into a key ring, although I wouldn't suggest that because, you know, it would get knocked around. It's It's something more that you could just hang around your neck. I will put the ring lights back on in a minute just to show you what the difference is. The LEDs. Actually, I'll just go and do it now. Hang on one sec. Just walk around the table and flip them on. I flick one switch and then all four come on, which is much better. All right, now let's see if we can... Better hang on to that so it doesn't fall off. See, it's got a, you can still pick it up, but it's got a different look. It's more, more subdued, I guess, but a better coverage. This one's got a little mark on it as well. What's the bedding that that's where I had my little dip in the, in the paper. I said, oh, I must make sure not to use that bit, but never mind. So there's that one. I'll show you this one again with the ring lights on. You let me know what's better. That's it there. Just got to turn it to catch it in the, the right light. So I don't know whether or not you're interested in doing holographic jewellery. Not necessarily <laughs> abandoned, so they're a bit tricky. But um, yeah, if you want to see some more um, with that holographic inlay that I made, um, I will do more now. I haven't put the little chain on this one, but we'll show you anyway. I don't think that one's got any marks on it. That one's turned out really well. I just don't think that the holographics is as good with the LEDs. Not sure. So there's that one. This one. The gold heart. I did spray them with alcohol and used my little um, microfiber just on the top just to get my fingerprints off. That seemed to work well. And the round gold one. They're amazing, aren't they? Now this one, this is the one I had the trouble with. Um, the resin overflowed so much that it filled in the little hole at the top, so I can't really do much with that one. I mean, I could drill it out, but look, I'm not going to bother. I'm just going just gonna to chuck it. Or just use it as a sample, I guess. So that's it. But um, yeah, I've learned a couple of things from this. Make sure that my um, 
little silicone inlay is totally clean because I did transfer a couple of little dots onto it. Who knows what it is, just little pieces of whatever's lying around on my bench. Um, and don't overfill them <laughs> and don't press down too much. Oh my gosh, so many things. All right, but anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my video. And uh, yeah, let me know if you want to see more of these. I'm just going to go and turn off my lights again so we can have another look at these without the lights, the bright lights. I guess natural light just picks up a bit better with it. See, look at that. That's, the, that's no, no lights. It's just the lights coming in from my window. Really pretty. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. And, uh, yeah, let me know if you want to see any more of these. And uh, I'll see you real soon for the next video. Okay. <laughs> Bye for now. Love these.